Welcome in to Ravens Rundown, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us. Coming up on today's show, we are going to look at the top breakout candidates for the Ravens in 2022. I'm going to give you six names, and we'll tell you about our expectations for them heading into this season. We'll start out at the wide receiver position. An obvious name, Rashad Bateman. And you look at Bateman, he assumes the role as the number one receiver after the departure of Marquise Brown as he was traded to the Arizona Cardinals. And I got to tell you, there is a lot of pressure on Rashad Bateman entering this season. And you look at the numbers last year, they weren't great for Bateman. Just 500 yards receiving and only one touchdown grab. That production as a number one receiver is going to have to go up quite a bit. I know that they have Mark Andrews, and the tight end room looks really good there in Baltimore, and the running backs are a good position group as well, but these receivers are really going to have to step up and led by Rashad Bateman in particular here. I look at the yardage number, for example, from last year, 500 yards as your number one guy, that number's probably going to need to double. I would think that Bateman is going to need to have a 1,000-yard season, and the touchdown number has to come way up as well from just one touchdown grab. As a number one receiver, you would expect at least six or more if he is worthy of that position. So a lot of pressure on Rashad Bateman, especially as Lamar Jackson tries to become more of a passing quarterback throughout the ongoing aging of his career at this point, Bateman will need to step up. So I want to hear from you guys, our pinned comment today. Will Rashad Bateman have over 1,000 yards receiving in 2022? Type O for over, type U for under, if you think Bateman is going to get to that mark here in 2022. Our pinned comment today, you're about to get an ad break, take advantage of it while that ad's playing. Get your votes in and tell us O for over, U for under. So the next breakout candidate, I got two names to give you for the same reasons here. J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. And let's go ahead and start out with Dobbins first. Dobbins is coming off a year where he missed in 2021 off of an ACL injury. And he had a great rookie season, if you recall. It wasn't too long ago that he showed signs of life, that uh, he had a lot of potential. You go back to that rookie year, he only had one start, but in the time that he was out there, he was terrific. 800 yards rushing, six yards per carry, and nine touchdowns in that rookie campaign. Dobbins was great, and we saw Dobbins when he was at Ohio State, too. He was terrific there as well. So a lot of potential with J.K. Dobbins. I like what he brings to the table, and – we have not seen his best football yet. I think that there is a very good chance we're talking about J.K. Dobbins as a Pro Bowl running back by the end of this season if he stays healthy. Another name, Gus Edwards, also coming off an ACL injury. And his numbers, not like what J.K. Dobbins is, that Edwards, even though we've seen him more than we've seen J.K. Dobbins so far at this point in their careers, Edwards has not had a season with more than 750 rushing yards to this point. You go back to 2020, 144 carries, 723 yards, six touchdown runs. Not bad for Gus Edwards, but I think that the potential is there for both of these guys to step up. And you look at the other running backs in that running back room with Justice Hill and Tyler Beatty, who they drafted from Missouri. And I look at this group as – a really solid bunch. I think it's kind of under the radar, underrated. And then you have Lamar who can run the ball as well. This backfield is lethal if they can stay healthy. Look, you go back to 2021, there was all sorts of injuries. Everything that went wrong could have went, went wrong <laughs> for the Ravens last year at that running back spot. Now you get those guys back healthy, I think you're feeling pretty good about this bunch. Who's going to have the better year, though? J.K. or Gus, I want to hear from you guys. Which running back is going to be RB1 and have the bigger year for the Baltimore Ravens? I lean towards J.K. Dobbins. I don't say that as a slight at all at Gus Edwards, but I like J.K. a little bit better. And then 
there's the stuff that we don't know about as far as their recovery rate from the ACLs. Their bodies might react differently. That remains to be seen as well. Let me know in the comments section. Type JK for JK Dobbins. Type GS for Gus Edwards. Devin Dunare is our next candidate that we want to bring to your attention for the Baltimore Ravens. And Devin, last year, he was great at special teams. First team all-pro punt returner in 2021. And he is the most experienced wide receiver on the Ravens depth chart coming back in 2022. The thing that's ahead for Devin here is that he has to be more than just a return man. The Ravens are going to ask for him to take that next step and really develop as a wide receiver. And if you look at the history of the National Football League, there are a lot of guys that are good returners, but they never can develop to play in the NFL at their true position, that they're true just special teams guys. And so this is make or break for Devin. We're going to find out this year if he is a true solid receiver or if he's just a return specialist. Last year, the numbers weren't anything to write home about. 272 yards, two touchdowns, 47 targets with 33 receptions. And you look at that group as a whole. We mentioned Bateman earlier. I mean, there's just not a whole lot of his experience there. And he's the guy that brings the most back. And so, Devin, you know, I, I like what we've seen. We know he has the speed. He has the athleticism, but can he put it all together? That remains to be seen at this point. It kind of reminds me of what the Chiefs have in McCall Hardman. Hardman is somebody that was a pro bowler as a return man his rookie season, and he's never quite developed to be the receiver the Chiefs expected him to be. So, Devin, I don't want you to be like McCall Hardman. You got a lot of potential, got a lot of talent there. Be more than a return man. I believe in you, man. I expect a good year from Devin in 2022. Ravens Rundown is presented by Fanatics, and they got a great deal right now on jerseys. And the best way to get your hands on these jerseys you see right here is by going to chatsports.com forward slash Ravens jersey. And you can see you get the Lamar Jackson jersey, the Mark Andrews jersey, different colors as well for your favorite Ravens. And you can even get some Ray Lewis jerseys as well. That will never age, folks. Those will always look good. I mean, look, folks, you need to get these, whether it's for your young fan, your old fan, what era of Raven fan you are, I don't care. Chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey. So our next candidate that we have on the list for you is none other than Justin Matabuke. And Matabuke here is a guy that you look at last year. He helped lead the Ravens to having the number one rush defense in the NFL last year. And now he's got to take that next step of sorts, right? Good team guy, good team player. The statistics showed as a collective unit, but not necessarily as the individual unit for Justin here. Now, when I say breakout, this is not just about his impact on the team, but in Justin's case, we need to see more from him if he wants to get that payday, if he wants to get the the love of the Pro Bowls and, and that type of stuff here. Yes, football is a team sport, but looking out for Justin here, I think we look at the stat stuffers, if he can find a way to get more involved that way and pad up those stats a bit. We're going to be looking at him more than just a team guy, but somebody that people recognize around the National Football League for the type of presence that he brings to the table. 6'3", 300 pounds, two sacks last year. There's no reason why he shouldn't be able to bring that up. Helped on the run defense. Let's see what he can do to develop as a pass rusher in 2022. I think there's a good chance we see more from Justin this year. Got another name to give you in just a moment, but before we do, I want to make sure that you are subscribed to the Ravens Rundown. Free content each and every day here on the channel. Producer Chugs is working so hard. I'm helping. We're doing everything we can to make sure that you get the best Ravens content each and every day. Have those notifications on as well so you never miss a moment of Ravens Rundown. 
whether it's free agent signings, trades, previewing the season ahead, counting down to kickoff. We have it all covered right here on Ravens Rundown each and every day, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. Hit the red sub button, turn on the notifications, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. Adafi Owe is our final candidate on the list for the Baltimore Ravens. And Adafi is coming off a really good rookie season. He was an all-rookie team selection in 2021. He'll be the leading pass rusher for the Ravens this year. And if you look at the numbers last year, you could even argue that his rookie year was his breakout year. Last year, five sacks, three forced fumbles, 21 tackles, 13 quarterback hits. Sadafe was great. I really liked what I saw from him in 2022. And when you look at this linebacker depth chart, playing alongside Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison, I mean, who are you going to double team, right? I mean, Adafe has a chance to take another step up. I really like what he brings to the table with this Ravens defense, and he is going to be a menace for offenses to deal with, with his potential. I don't think we've seen it yet. I like what I saw from him in 2021, but in 2022, there's no reason why Adafe can't be a Pro Bowl candidate. There's no reason why he can't play at that level and take another step up. We recognize that he was good last year, but I'm telling you, folks, there's more for Adafi in 2022 that the people haven't seen yet. He is maybe my favorite player of the five on this list, six rather. Let's go over that list one more time for you. Rashad Bateman, number one on the list. Obviously, he's the new number one wide receiver target. The running back position. J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. Then we go to Devin Dunaray at the wide receiver spot. Justin Matabuke at the number five spot for us. And finally on our list, Adafe Owe rounds things out. A good group, six players there. You know, one of the things we've talked about on this channel for a while now is how good the Ravens scouting department is. And I think when you look at those six guys, that is the fruits of the labor paying off for this Raven scouting department. Those six guys are going to look really good this year. Now, I want to hear from you guys. Name one player who will have a breakout season for the Ravens. Tell me in the comments section whether it's one of those names, maybe somebody we didn't talk about on this show. Tell me in the comments section one player who will break out for the Ravens in 2022. You know, as I look at this down the line here, it feels like this season for the Ravens is boom or bust, right? When it all comes down to it, the talent, it looks like it's there. But can the Ravens put it all together? Can they stay healthy enough? Can the offensive system come together where, okay, maybe they don't have a great receiver, but can Bateman and some of these other guys do enough It feels boom or bust. If everything goes right, this Ravens team can compete with the best of the best in the AFC. But if a few things go wrong, we'll see what happens. But that's the feeling I have at this point in the offseason with this team right now. Boom or bust. We'll see what happens. 